All right, it's your girl Kia from Worldviews, and I'm here to tell you how you can start your business in Kenya through our local company, Views of Africa. So we're here on our main page, Worldviews. Click the business tab. Once you click the business tab, it will redirect you to our Views of Africa page. Scroll down to the bottom and you will find our Views of Africa Business Center. We offer three standard business packages. We have our Deluxe, Royal, and VIP. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So the Washington Post came out, a re out with a report that they have been tracking since 2017 talking about black people are still more than likely to be killed by the police by any other race in America, right? Now you would think after the 2020 protests where people from all over the world protested after George Floyd was murdered by the police, you would think that things would get better, right? No, in fact, it is said that it's gotten worse. Now, white people make up about 200 million in population in the United States to that of black people to the tune of about 42 million, okay? And so white people, it says that one in 15 of them are killed by the police every year and one in 38 of black people are killed by the police every year, okay? And so it is said that on an annual basis, police kill about a thousand people, but in 2021, that number changed slightly to 1,055 people killed by the police. And so my question is this, we've seen the Asian community get a bill to make them a protected class of citizen, right? Especially after we saw the media put all these reports out about how they were being attacked verbally and physically, and they mostly showed black people doing the attacking, right? Uh, and they said this all came from when Trump was talking about, you know, calling the coronavirus the China flu and all this other stuff. And so they kind of put that on the backs of black people. Needless to say, Asians are a protected class of citizens. But what I just said about black people still being killed disproportionately more than anybody else by the police, why haven't we been made a protected class of citizen? What makes them more special than us? I mean, the Democrats who say they are the party of black people, the party of people, they're running Washington right now. They can ram a bill through to protect black people like they did with the Asian community, but they won't do it, right? They talked a good game, talking about, oh yeah, we need to defund the police and we need all these measures and you still got the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act that's still kind of wavering. Nobody's really taking up the mantle on that anymore. It's just there, right? That's supposed to help protect black people against the police and get uh, get rid of qualified immunity and things like that. But nobody's talking about that. So why haven't we been made to protect the class of citizen? So I say that to say black people, when we go to the polls in 2022, think about that. Think about that. It could be you. It could be somebody you know and love be killed by the police. And they're still not interested in protecting you as a black person here in America. Think about that when you go into that booth. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, and here on YouTube. Peace.